No dicks in this, Nick, I tell you what. <laughs> what the fuck am I having? Wacky facts for Five Nights at Freddy's 2. Did you know that there's evidence to suggest that Balloon Boy does not exist? Upon installing Five Nights at Freddy's 2, your computer becomes extremely scared and does the computer equivalent of peeing itself. This is a rare case that is possible with all computers. Only when the spookiest of games and movies enters its memory, it makes your computer release hallucinogenic fumes which make you imagine things on your screen. The fumes have different effects on different games and movies, but its effect on Five Nights at Freddy's 2 is that it has you imagine a little asshole holding a balloon and a sign and giggling like the dick he is. This is the reason why Balloon Boy is often considered the most hated animatronic. They try to tell their friends how angry he makes them and how annoying he is, but oftentimes others can't actually see him. And thus, Five Nights at Freddy's 2 has caused mental asylums to fill up at record-breaking rates. Also, did you know that there is a cryptic message hidden in one of the minigames you occasionally play after dying? The one particular game titled Give Gifts, Give Life has a computerized voice saying letters to you as you play. Listen closely and you'll hear that they're saying H E L P T H E M. What on earth could those letters mean? Well, upon closer examination, unscrambling these letters spells out PFLEM, which is a Martian onomatopoeia for sneezing. It is often theorized, since the puppet is the main character of the minigame in where this message exists, that the puppet has a case of the common cold. Aw, poor guy. G g g get him some Dayquil. You know, that'll fix him right up. We'll get better, take a, get some rest, take a nap. Don't kill me, you know, that'd be really helpful. And now it's time for Wacky Facts Easter Egg Theater. There are several death screens in Five Nights at Freddy's 2 where it simply shows an eyeless version of an animatronic, including Foxy, Freddy, and Toy Bonnie. But did you Rule 34 lovers know that there is a super secret death screen that shows Toy Chica without her bib? How do you get a peek at those sweet chicken breasts? Chicken breasts? What? Oh, oh, I get it. <laughs> oh, sly move there, Scott. Anyway, what you have to do is open the game and start the custom night challenge, Ladies Night. Then, open your special folder filled entirely of pornography of Chica the Chicken and show it to your mom. Be sure to thoroughly show her each one of the photos and explain in great detail what is happening in each of them. Right as your mom pukes on the screen, Toy Chica's jump scare will occur, followed by a topless Chica flashing across the screen for an extremely brief, yet entirely worth it millisecond. This can be repeated as much as you want, or until your mom runs out of puke. Go ahead, give it a try. And finally, do you know why FNAF <laughs> 1 and 2 were released so close to each other? Why weren't they more spread out? Number 3 is already on its way too. Is he simply milking the franchise? No. It's something much more dreadful than that. Satan, creator of Five Nights at Freddy's, is planning something. I think that Satan is using these games to see how we'd fare in the case of a robot animal invasion. He sees our fear and failures and notices that we would all perish very quickly. Also, he's already made more money through these games than you will ever encounter in five lifetimes. I think he's going to use his unfathomable riches to construct an army of robotic farm animals to finally exact his revenge on the world that rejected him. Fire will engulf the land, blood will run the streets like rivers, cities will be in ruin. So many chicken boobs! Will you be strong enough to join the resistance that fights back Satan's robot army? Cause I'm not. I'll be in my hidey hole. Okay, gotta be quiet. Don't want Satan to hear. Oh, um, do you guys need entertainment for the apocalypse? You can watch the last Yankee facts all about the Yuletide season. Or if you want to hear me yell some more, watch me play this really cool game called Crush Hour. And on the off chance that we actually survive this invasion, be sure to follow my social medias and subscribe to me on YouTube for more Wacky Facts! 
Godspeed to you all.